That's why I'm thrilled to share that next to our continued investment in Procode, we have been doubling down into our investment with low-code and no-code tools for citizen developers. And today, you see some of those results because we are launching a unified low-code, no-code experience on SAP Business Technology Platform. Citizen and professional developers alike can now increase their productivity and innovate at scale. So what is in it for you? First of all, we introduce SAP AppGyver for no-code development. Second, we evolve the SAP Business Application Studio and make it available for low-code development now. And third, we are launching a preview of our new no-code automation solution, SAP Process Automation, which builds on the capabilities of our known robotic process automation and workflow capabilities. With this unified low-code, no-code offering, we bridge the gap between professional and non-technical developers. For example, in the Business Application Studio, professional developers can support citizen developers wherever they are needed. And actually, I have two special guests here with me. We have uh, Marco. Marco, you are the founder of AppGyver, now leading the SAP AppGyver team, and Diana. You and the team, you are taking care of low-code, no-code solutions at SAP. Hi, Jürgen. It's great to be here. Hello. Thanks for having me. Nice having you. Um, Marco, let's start with you. You are a developer by heart, but also you are fully behind no-code. What's the deal? Well, when I was a kid, we used to write machine code to create software and talk to the computers. And we've seen the evolution of programming languages over the decades. And now we are at the verge of something very big with visual programming being the next step in the evolution. People used to think about no code in terms of being something that you use to create baby apps and mm -hmm. small software. But with SAP AppGyver, we are really pushing the limits of what no code can do. And you can create mission critical, pixel perfect solutions without any writing of code. It's really big. Nice. That, that's exciting to hear. Diana, what do you see happening? I actually brought a demo to show you how it works. Sure. So I'll show you the demo. It's about a customer service issue in a company called Airx. Airx manufactures heating and cooling systems. Mm -hmm. And in this demo, I'm a non-technical user, and I'm responsible for customer satisfaction. So let me get started. I start an SAP work zone. I've created my own personal digital experience, which displays all information and connects to all applications I need. I can improve open items and review my business KPIs from various systems in one central page. Let me approve my incoming requests first. Everything's looking good. All important items are cleared. I know that there was an issue with our call centers recently. So let me look into my process visibility dashboard. I can see that 99% of processes are completed within 24 hours. I can also see that our customer satisfaction is up. Great. Really thrilled to see this. Up until last week, we were receiving lots of negative feedback from customers. Many of them were unsatisfied with the way we were managing the request for replacement parts. They reported mistakes and delays. Thanks to SAP Process Insights, we were able to identify two reasons for this problem. First, order entry errors due to multiple screens and having to cut and paste numbers. Second, slow approvals of orders due to manual processes via email. The problem was urgent, of course, and we needed to solve it right away, but we had low resources from our central IT department. So let me show you now how we solved it anyways within one week's time. Before you do that, Diana, actually that happens so often. IT departments are just overloaded with too many projects and requests. And that's also why no pro-code developer needs to fear this low-code, no-code movement because there's just so much to do. And we just want to enable more people to get things done. Yeah, and these kinds of scenarios are very common at our customers and yet very easy to solve with no code. Diana, do you want to show what we solved? Sir? Act <laughs> Actually, Marco, why don't you show us the next part of the demo? Sure thing. So first of all, we wanted to help our service agents work more efficiently when they order replacement parts for customers. The journey starts in our unified developer project overview by creating a new project with SAP AppGyver. Using the SAP AppGyver Composer, I designed the on-screen interface of an app 
which allows our agents to order replace AC products directly from the service cloud. The drag and drop controls and data fields from the component library made it easy to create a straightforward UI, which is simple to operate and leaves little room for mistakes. I then used the SAP AppGyver backend capabilities to connect the app with S4 HANA, and this allowed me to fetch customers' equipment information. And we also wanted to integrate external data from our vendors to make sure that we only ordered spare parts that were in the stock. And for this, we typically need support from someone with more technical understanding. Therefore, for this demo scenario, we had our colleagues from IT help create a new data model that would fetch the inventory and pricing data from our spare parts vendor. Thanks to the new low-code experience in BUS, this service was created in just a few hours. I then leveraged the new data model for my service app. That macro I like so much because you have development and business in a company working very closely together. And I think that makes a huge difference. Exactly. And just like that, we built an extension into SAP Service Cloud, which allows service agents to assist customers without ever switching screens. Everything they need is within one window now. Nice. Nice. Marco, who actually are those users? What do you see? Who is using those no-code tools? Well, that's an excellent question, because basically it involves everybody. Mm -hmm. You have designers who used to create just prototypes, now being able to go further and create full applications. You have business people who have zero technical background being able to create software. And of course, you have the professional developers with a lot of experience in coding, now being able to create so much larger pieces of software, thanks to the no-code. Nice. Um, Diana, when you showed the demo earlier to me, there was a second part to it. Um, about approvals, workflow, what yes. was it? Yes, I'm happy to show it to you. So, we made our service agents more efficient, thanks to Marco. We also needed to speed up the approval process on management side. We used SAP Process Automation to build an approval workflow, which is connected to the Service Cloud app that we just saw. First, I set a trigger to initiate the approval workflow. Every time a new spare part is requested through the app, the process will start. The second option is a request through email. I added an additional trigger, which leverages an RPA bot that then automatically extracts the data from the emails. Lastly, we also wanted to give customers the option to request spare parts online through a form. I built the form in SAP Process Automation using the drag and drop UI and connected it to the process. We also added a rule. Approvals are only needed if spare parts cost more than 50 euros. I then added some business logic to my process to automatically determine the approval of the request. I added a policy and configured a decision table. This will determine the responsible approver. And finally, I also wanted to make the approval even more seamless by providing decision support for managers. Leveraging AI business services, I configure the scenario which generates the confidence level and will assist managers to approve requests even faster. And I'm able to do so without support from IT or data scientists. And that's it. Now we can deploy the new approval workflow with just a few clicks. And this is how we were able to solve our problems in customer service in just one week's time. I can approve my incoming requests now quickly and based on machine learning supported recommendations. Diana, Marco, that is very rich, very full. I hope everyone is excited about those new opportunities. Thank you so much. But I have one more question before actually we go to the audience. Marco, now actually you joined SAP and the AppGyver team joined SAP. Welcome again. Um, which opportunities do you see in the SAP ecosystem? Well, low-code, no-code on business technology platform really champions change and maximizes the value for existing investments. With SAP AppGyver, you can really have superpowers to create multi-platform apps and extensions so much faster than ever before. It's thrilling. So you really say low-code, no-code development opportunities um, are now available for many, many more people than if you have like a computer science degree and can code, um, yeah? yeah? Yeah, definitely. I mean, with this solution, we are making programming effectively available for everybody. So every single person can create their own software. It's incredible. Diana, what's your point of view? 
I absolutely agree. What I do want to add is that people often think with low-code, no-code, it's so easy, you don't have to learn anything. Mm -hmm. And it's not true. I mean, every new tool learns needs some upskilling, mm -hmm. right? So at SAP, we are of the firm belief that we need to make it as easy as possible for our non-technical end users. And we're super happy to have in-product learning experience in AppGyver. Mm -hmm. And we also launch a new learning offering today to make it easy for non-technical users to understand what application development and citizen development is actually all about. Diana, Marco, now I let you go. Enjoy TechEd and thanks so much again. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, I hope that some of this can remove some of the inequality in the world we talked earlier about. Just think about it. SAP alone has more than 230 million end users of our cloud applications. And there are a lot more when you include our on-premise systems. And now imagine that we can show all those end users a path to becoming a citizen developer. I am already looking forward to seeing someone, maybe an hourly worker, and she or he extend an SAP system, for example, with SAP AppGyver. This can unlock a new order of magnitude of value creation for that individual person, of course, but also for society as a whole. And that actually can help closing the skill gap we have too. So if you want that, if you want to become a citizen developer, just have a look at our new low-code, no-code learning journey on learning.sap.com. Actually, we just launched a new learning experience today. So let me show you. This new learner experience is designed for all developer skill levels, being it a pro code developer, being it an IT professional, being it an academic student, a technology thought leader. It's a completely new way to accessing SAP specific know-how. So going forward, all makers, you, can learn all necessary skills by taking free of charge learning journeys. You can qualify yourself for SAP certifications. In the past, you had to pay for this learning content. Now you can access it for free. We follow the path that we have started very successfully with OpenSAP, but now even more consequently. As of today, we are starting this new learning approach with seven different BTP-specific learning journeys. More will follow soon. For example, the one we just mentioned, low-code, no-code, and citizen development journey. I just mentioned that one. It teaches you the basic concepts of software development in a few hours, and then you can build your own app in just 30 minutes. You can become a trusted expert with certified skills, and that has never been easier. All in one place, also with easy navigation to other learning offerings like SAP Learning Hub, like OpenSAP, and like the SAP community. We actually have a special tech ad offer for you, so you can take full advantage of the services offered by Placement. The first 1,000 developers to complete a certification exam on the SAP Business Technology platform through the new learning site will receive a voucher worth $125 that you can use for career development services like coaching. We are equipping you with the right tools because we want you to be successful. And of course, we want to support your companies and your customers on the journey to the intelligent enterprise. So if you are asking yourself now, how can you get involved? Here's a couple of things I would like to recommend to you. First, join our SAP community on community.sap.com. Here, you can also check out our low-code, no-code solutions. The SAP community in general is the place to bring in your ideas, to discuss with other experts, and share your feedback. This is also where you can address topics that are top of mind for you like the free tier model for SAP Business Technology Platform. Which brings me to the second thing I would like you to do. Sign up for free tier on sap.com forward slash BTP. Explore and try out BTP services free of charge without any financial commitment. And build solutions 
for the world's most pressing problems. You can find great use cases on the SAP Discovery Center. That will help you get started, being it in the area of health, of sustainability, of inequality, or digitization. There are so many challenges waiting to be resolved. And we also have reference architectures to help you get started. With our new low-code, no-code solutions, the door to innovation is wide open to everyone. And finally, make sure to visit learning.sap.com to upskill and become a trusted expert with our free learning offerings. Lifelong learning has never been easier.